You're responding to the 100 block of Bourbon Street or a drunk male that's down and out. What's the night in New Orleans if you're not going to Bourbon Street to pick up a Signal 19? Everybody's drunk down there. Everyone. Yeah, like everybody. We would, <laughs> we would never leave that just even one block of Bourbon Street if we had to bring every drunk person to the hospital. <laughs> on the next light, on the other side of the canal. Three, two, five, one. Gunshots in the area, stampede on bourbon. They had some gunshots, but I don't know if anybody was shot yet. Being caught in a stampede is extremely dangerous. No one knows where to go. No one knows where they're going. Everyone is scared. We are in the direct line of fire of whatever this could be. I'm looking for PD. We're gonna just hold off a second, see if we're needed. City of New Orleans, 911. Somebody shot, somebody shot. Boom, 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 and then again. Gun fire on bourbon. Please hurry, please hurry. I must have heard about 10 shots. There's one, two, three, there are three people down. All right, 3247 49 10. Uh, it's reported shots fired. And all you can see is caution. People are running all over the place trying to get in there. Let's do the things. We're getting these updates, and now my primary concern is management of multiple patients, potential MCI situation. Like, are there going to be more people shot than there are providers available to take them to the hospital? All right, oh. This one is 3247, we're on scene. Officer, who's right, shot? Two, 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 two. One. So far, I've got. I don't know where. Right here. Is he shot? Okay, check him out. Right now, he's number one. Hey, sir, sir, have you been shot? Where? In the leg, somewhere. Somewhere? Yeah, somewhere in the leg. Uh, I mean, can you lower it? Can you lower it? Okay, no, no, okay. Which one are you headed to? We got two activations that we can take. Uh, the one with three GSWs is in the Bourbon Heat Courtyard, if you guys want to head to that one. Probably. Happel and Chase already have two patients, so their hands are pretty much full. Thank you. Coming through, coming through, coming through. As soon as I round that corner and cross that police tape, I just see bodies on the ground. And where's the other ones? That one's over there. Look that way. Well, you can show us an area. Damn, they spread out everywhere, huh? Chase! You putting on a tourniquet? Yeah. All right, just in the leg. Nowhere else? Yeah. All right. Bro, is your junk in the right space? Furniture in the right room? This is about to get real tight. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bro. Right. 3247 tourniquet. 3251. We're going to have two patients, both their activations. So there's going to be one more patient. It doesn't meet activation criteria if you can get the other unit at Bourbon and Orleans to come pick them up. Our patient on the stretcher was shot in the upper buttock, lower back area near a ton of vital organs. And I already know there was a lot of blood loss. In addition to that, our patient that's sitting in the chair has been shot multiple times, once in the arm and twice in the leg. He's also had an extreme amount of blood loss. I'm gonna start taking all this off you to see if you're shot anywhere else, and then we're gonna get some vital signs, okay? Oh, this bitch hurts so bad. Are you allergic to anything? Oh, come on, please. <laughs> it hurts so bad. You can feel this? All right. We're leaving, baby. We have two very critical patients. They're bleeding out and going into shock. So these patients need to be in the hospital immediately. 
So, Nemec, I'm thinking we throw him on the bench seat. Uh, I'll take care of him if you want to go help Chase. I'm happy to need me or no. Um, can that Just person get here on their own? We can spine board him. You want to spine board him? Do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll spine hold board him. I'll him on the cot then, because he's going to be a higher priority. Please move out the way. We're going to load him on ours. Hey, what's up? Hey, bro. What's up, my man? All right, can you scooch over there for you? We do, so uh, he's going to go in the bench seat. Even though I'm relatively new to the department, when responding to inevitable chaos like this, it's important to remember that we are the calm in the chaos. If we don't remain calm, everything falls apart and people don't get the help they need. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ransom <laughs> You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.